The gold we have out here is microscopic, but to extract it from the rock, the industry developed this process where they, you know, dig the earth out, crush it down, and then leach it with cyanide. And that separates the gold from the rock. Then they take the rock that's left and they make these, these huge tailings piles. Uh -huh. This microscopic gold is underneath the water table. So they're having to pump the water out to get to the earth underneath. The mines are pumping anywhere from 20,000 gallons of water per minute to 70,000 gallons of water per minute for one mine alone um, every day, 365 days a year. They're pumping this virgin water out so that we as human beings can enjoy wearing gold. Ladies and gentlemen, you are killing the earth. The earth is dying because of the way people act. You as consumers, they as producers of gold. And we as indigenous people, we're sitting yelling, stop that, you're killing our mother. Who's gonna hear us? Stop that, you're killing the earth. You're killing mother of all life, for God's sakes. Can't you wake up and listen to what we're saying to you? And let us treat this earth with tender love and care because it is our only mother. The struggle has been for Western Shoshone land rights. It's always been Western Shoshone land rights. To traditional indigenous person, land means life. All the things that you have, they all come from this earth. Today they call those things resources. Today, those resources are taken in the name of economy, name of money. Who does that? Multinational corporations, they don't care. They're not gonna be here tomorrow. And what do these companies care about the children of these children? They don't care, because they'll be gone. Soon as they take the resources out, they will be gone. Let's give honor to our sisters that have stood and fought long and hard and are still fighting. Because as long as we have breath, there is still hope for us. And that's why we're here today. That's why I'm here, to support my sisters that have been on the battlefield for so long. 80% of that gold goes into jewelry. 80%. Anytime you men buy gold for your wives, you think about that. The destruction that's happening to the earth in the name of gold. On Earth Day, April 22nd, 2005, Mary Dan died in an accident on the Dan Ranch. She'd been out repairing fences. She died as she lived, with her boots on and hay in her pockets.
Carrie Dan said Mary would not want her death to interrupt the struggle to regain their land rights and human rights. The following year, the Western Shoshone renewed their grievances with the United Nations. I was involved in the UN CERD presentation. What CERD stands for is the Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. And that's a treaty body set up under the United Nations system that the United States signed and, and ratified in 1993, I believe. We think the Shoshone people have legitimate grievances. There's an old Roman law, I believe, where there's a wrong, there's, there must be a remedy. And no country, no matter how great or progressive it is, is a perfect society. There are always elements of ethnic and other kinds of racism or discrimination. And we bring the attention of the party to remedies in terms of the obligations they have voluntarily assumed under the convention. And they rendered a full formal urgent action decision against the United States, urging that the United States immediately freeze, desist, and stop from any further actions against the Western Shoshone people, any further legislative efforts to privatize their lands, and um, to immediately initiate dialogue with the Western Shoshone. Say the United Nations has condemned U.S. behavior against the Western Shoshone. That means something to people when they pick up the paper and read it. After we heard the decision from the CERD, I was very pleased about it, very happy about it. You got a copy of the decision? Yes. Did it say what you wanted to say? Yes. Okay. Today, in a historical and strongly worded decision by the United Nations Committee on Elimination of Racial Discrimination, CERD, the United States was urged to freeze, desist, and stop action being taken or threatened to be taken against Shoshone people. I just hope that, you know, that we'll be able to work with the United States to go forward on something that's favorable towards the indigenous peoples of America. So, <laughs> that's what Uncle said yesterday, too. Julie, he was so happy. He was. Yeah. About this. Good. Even really was he really was, he told, okay, he says, well, we can go dancing tonight. <laughs> it's about time the truth come out. It's about time the truth come out. The Western Shoshone case is a very important case for the indigenous movement worldwide, and the Dan sisters in particular have been very inspirational. They've won the moral battle. The U.S. has its legal maneuverings that it can make within its own domestic system, but when it comes to judging these actions, against fundamental human rights standards, the Dan's and the Western Shoshone people are the ones who are right. This year, the Committee on Elimination of Racial Discrimination confirmed the Inter-American Commission's finding and issued a full decision under their early warning and urgent action procedures. We were very pleased that these bodies have recognized the wrongs that the government is committing against our people and other indigenous people. I want to thank you for listening to this little old lady. Thank you very much. <laughs> Are we ready to dedicate ourselves to the next generations to come? Or are we ready just to you know, accept things as they are and the hell with tomorrow? The hell with the future generations? 
And that is one of the reasons why I, I try so hard to protect the rights of the indigenous peoples all over the world, because they're the one that's still related to the earth, they're still close to the earth, and they do care. I will only hope history of this nation will bring out in the open the struggles that we have had against the United States in order for us to find a little bit of peace, a little bit of justice, a little bit of humanity and a little bit of morality in the government of the United States of America. No heyo, no heyo, no heyo, no heyo, no heyo, no heyo.